The sixth dynasty is the final dynasty in the Old Kingdom. And by the time that the sixth dynasty came along, the pyramids weren't, very, weren't built very well at all. So let's jump straight in with pyramid number 21, which was for Teti. The 21st pyramid on our list of pyramids is the pyramid of Teti of the sixth dynasty. This is another site that Kayam Waset took an interest in, and I get very excited about any location that Kayam Waset was involved in. He was a prince during the reign of Ramses the Great, and he spent an awful lot of time exploring and restoring the more ancient sites, including this one. The stories of some of these activities are referred to as mythology because he found magical things at sites like this, some of which were already over a thousand years old when Kayam Waset was taking an interest in them. As for this pyramid, from above the ground, it's a bit of a mess, but underground, the portions of the pyramid are mostly intact, and some interesting artefacts were found inside. And now moving on to Pepi the First. Pepi I was the third pharaoh in the sixth dynasty of the Old Kingdom. He ruled for over 40 years. He's actually known as one of the most prolific builders of the Old Kingdom. Not that there's a lot to show for him these days, but at Saqqara, he built not only his own six-step, 52-metre-high pyramid, but at least... Six pyramids for his queens. The building technique used was roughly cut up blocks of limestone together with mortar and then beautifully encased with Tura limestone. Hence, it was an easy target to dismantle. The underground part of the pyramid had three chambers and in the main chamber there is the equivalent of a stone sarcophagus. The next pyramid is the Pyramid of Meren Re, who ruled Egypt for maybe up to about 11 years. Now, Meren Re travelled a lot, especially to Nubia, for uh, trading. In fact, he took his trading with Nubia so seriously that he actually built a canal in the first cataract to make it all very much easier. He was interested in quarrying for granite, travertine, alabaster, etc. Not that you'd know it now, since most of the places that he's used it on have been uh, basically dismantled. His pyramid complex, much like his other structures, has little left today. And there was also a black basalt stone box, sarcophagus, whatever you want to call it. There was a mummy, but it's unknown if that was Marin Ray. And the site is very difficult to get to. Also, it's just not available to the public. The last pharaoh in the 6th dynasty to build a pyramid was Pepi II. He was only six years old when he found himself pharaoh. And he reigned for at least 11 years during a fairly unpleasant time for the pharaoh as the nomarchs had grown in power, and the pharaoh's power had reduced significantly. This decline marked not only the end of the Sixth Dynasty, but also the end of the Old Kingdom. His successor didn't even last a year before the whole thing had ended. The pyramid that he built was made of limestone chunks and clay mortar with a, a nice... Uh, casing stone on it so understandably it's not in great condition today so that is the end of the sixth dynasty and with it also the end of the old kingdom